I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. And you don't need to worry I about should have done this for the last memory. Most of it's just... The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it when it's gone. Go on, carry on. I mean, on. You, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or <laughs> next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. Running security for the she. A lot of standing around, looking huh. tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. <laughs> I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. Mm. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect ah. you to the next intact memory. It's getting interesting. What was his name? Connie Kellogg? Or is she taking a mick out of him and calling him his mother's name? For suggesting the same thing about the gun. Right. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Well... <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Lovely. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. No? Yeah? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. So he was a family man. He was a good man and a family man, and uh, they destroyed him. Then probably made him half machine and twisted his mind a bit. Let's find out. Come on, come on, come on. This old centipede thing routine. Mind if we uh, sit down? Let's have Suit a look. yourself. Access memory. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of. Blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Hmm. What about him? There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. And um, this one? There was always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Interesting. What about Kellogg? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Hmm. So his so, hairline's retreat, um, retreating now? I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. Ah. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? Interesting. That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, hmm. it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. So we're having to relive his entire life in big memory jump stages. At some point, we're going to get to the part where he goes into the vault, aren't we? So... Let's have a look, Ski. Come in. Mr. Kellogg, 
I'm glad you decided oh. to meet with me. Okay. So, Access you're with memory. the Institute. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. He's lost his hair by now. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but... You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. I wanted to see... The first synths oh, weren't all that all impressive. The, it's the same. Never mind. What about I'm you? good. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured... They were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. <laughs> they were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. All right. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. Which is interesting. Myself, if you really existed. We do, as you can see. Well, duh. What do you want? You it's want come to, to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? Kill I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Nice. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Yes, they have. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Come on then, let's go. Is this the vault? It's the vault. Told Manual you. override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Institute. The eggheads never like taking orders from a <laughs> dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. All computers were still... The eggheads oh, never like taking orders. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. Got a scout if they needed something done, they came to me. Wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission. Oh, so it was empty. I never noticed that on this the way one out stood the out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. Working. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just what about this one? I never knew why we didn't just right, refreeze yeah. the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. And there I am. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Let's see what he says. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. <laughs> even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Fine. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. 
I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Pond C6, uh, down the okay. hall near the end. Subjects. Yeah. So they left everybody alive apart from me and let them basically suffocate. This her. is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! How's now the Institute's no, main operator matter. in the Commonwealth? I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. Oh, well, well, same thing I again. Done it, but, uh, it's a shame. Would have been nice if it had changed. To. Yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Nice yeah, I'm a cold hearted bastard for sure, but uh, still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. That's a hell of a freeze frame, isn't it? Ouch. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yes, let's go. We get in there, aren't we? Definitely get in there. But I think the next memory will have to wait for the next episode. This is Robidon. This is the Rick the Dick playthrough, and we're going through Kellogg's memories. He turned out to be a uh, sympathetic character who's kind of just lost his way and turned into a dick. A bit like me, really. If you'd like to see how Rick is going to descend into dickness, you'll have to uh, come back for the next episode. So for now, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.